Hello, I'm Frank Roberts, and I'm the coordinator of the construction engineering program here at Niagara. I'd like to welcome you. Um, today I'm going to discuss two programs. First is the construction engineering technology program, and the second one is the civil engineering technician program. The construction engineering technology program is a three-year, six-term program. It deals with the design aspects of both residential and commercial buildings. So we take a requirement from an architect or an owner, and we design architecturally a building, a structure, uh, to meet those requirements. Once we have that done and the owner has okayed it, we can go in and we can do the structural layout for it, so we can determine where the beams go, uh, you know, any other structural element we need. From that, we take material off. So we do a material takeoff to determine how many bricks we need, how many two by fours we need, and so on. So we take the whole building off and we can come up then with a preliminary price for that. Well, once we have all of that done and it's been approved, then we can take it and put it through the Ontario Building Code, make sure everything we're doing is conforming to what the code says. Okay, and then we can put it into uh, project management. So we put it in our project management courses and we learn to schedule it, we learn to do material takeoffs, we do feasibility studies on this. And so at the end of it, we start right from conception, right to completion of the project. And you know, we have a finished product when we're done. So that's the construction engineering. In the civil engineering technician program, that's a two-year program, four terms in total, and it works more on infrastructure. So it's looking at the way the system maintains the building that's being put onto the, the piece of property, if you will. So we talk about irrigation systems, about sewer system designs, about water system placements, about road designs, about highway designs, bridges, and that sort of thing. So it really touches on the structural engineering element that goes uh, into a project such as this. The nice thing about these programs is the first term is common. So if you start in the construction engineering program, which is three years, and decide you don't want to spend three years at school, you can then switch over to the civil engineering technician program seamlessly. A little bit of paperwork through the college, but there's no hesitation. And if the other way, if you are working in the civil program and would like to switch to the construction program, Again, it's seamless. You don't have to take any more courses. If you wait till after the first term, so let's say the January start, it's a little bit more difficult um, because you do have to make up different courses. In the second term, we split and we go in different directions. So the civil obviously focuses much more on the civil aspects of design, whereas the construction takes off and does the, the construction, the design part of it, if you will. The other thing that you need to know about these programs is they are laptop programs, simply meaning that you, you require a laptop to complete these. Now, we provide you with the laptop, and it's included in the fees of your tuition, so there's no extra cost to you. When you look at the fees, the tuition includes this. Now, this is a Dell certified computer, and it is souped up. It has all of the necessary computer requirements that we need to run our program. Our program is extremely heavy um, in Autodesk programs. So we use uh, Autodesk AutoCAD, Autodesk Revit, Autodesk Civil 3D. They are really heavy resources. So the computers that you're gonna get from us are designed to, to be able to handle those. On the laptop, obviously, there's an operating system. Microsoft Word Suite is on there. So you have Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. We also load on some estimating programs and some very specific um, structural design um, programs on there for you. So you use these through the entire three years. The real advantage of this is that the computers are completely maintained by the college here. Our IT department is Dell certified, so they know exactly how to go in and fix these machines. So if something goes wrong with them, you simply bring it in and they will either fix it, or if they can't fix it right then, they will give you a loaner, so you're never without your laptop here. So you always have access to it. You'll be using this thing day and night, so we need to keep them up and with these uh, computers, we have uh, really good um, resources to, to keep them running well. Some people ask, well, I already have a laptop. Can I just use that one? And I have to say, unfortunately, no, you can't. Because most of the computers we buy at the big box stores just aren't capable of running the software that we need. The other problem that some students would have is that if it does break and something goes wrong with your laptop, you're not getting it fixed as fast as we get it fixed here at the, at the college. If you bought it at a big box store, they're gonna take it, send it away, it's gonna come back, and you'll be without your machine for a week or two. In these courses, a week or two is an extremely long time. Um, so that's why we, we do offer the laptops. 
when you're completed, um, you bring the laptop in prior to graduation, and they take some software off, okay? Because we can't give you the licenses for the Autodesk, but you get the machine back with the operating system and Microsoft Word uh, programs on there as well, and it's yours to keep, okay? So it's included in your tuition, so there's nothing else that you have to, to purchase um, from a laptop perspective in this. Okay, this is something that we use for our architectural design courses. Both civil and construction use these in the first term. So this is a first term course. Obviously with COVID it's gonna be a little bit different, but uh, when we do get back in classroom, this is what we actually use. We provide you with a drafting table and complete with Borkel on it. And we place it on this desk. This desk still has enough room for your laptop so you can look at the instructions and create manual drafting drawings on these sheets. These are the drafting tables that we use for your first year architectural course, and it is common between both construction and the civil programs. So we use these to create a, a manually drafted floor plan of a, of a basic house that we use, and from this we learn uh, some of the design aspects and some of the commonalities that we use when we're designing um, a residential floor plan. Okay, so we use these on these desks, and they are adjustable. They go up and down for, for height, so you can be comfortable in your drafting. The tables are large enough to put your laptop on as well, so you can have the instructions on your laptop, and you can be drawing here. Okay, there is power underneath here for your laptop, and obviously the whole room is wireless, so we can get, get, get it done that way. This is our print room, and it's dedicated to us in this building. Um, so this is where you can come and you can print all of your large size drawings. So when we get into AutoCAD and Revit and Civil 3D drawings, um, we print them out on this large OCE. And this is brand new, it's uh, only a one year old. Um, and so this is where you get your large format drawings printed. We have a work area here for you to lay your drawings out uh, and get them all in order. And we have a nice trimmer over here that trims all of your drawings off to make sure that they all line up and they all look very, very professional quality. We have the printer over here that prints out all of your tabloid size and your letter size documents that you have to print. So whether it's a, a written form or whether it's a small drawing that you want to print out, you print it right from here. Okay, and it's pretty straightforward. It comes right off of your student card. You do put some money onto your student card for printing. You send it to the printer, you tap your card, and both machines work. Okay. One note about this one is that the fees for the large printer are paid for. Uh, by, by our program. So there's no cost to print the big drawings to you, okay? We do with the small one, but not with the big ones. This is a room where we store all of our survey equipment. In both courses, you do take survey courses uh, to learn a little bit about surveying. And we do go out in the field and actually do some physical surveying, okay? And this is just the, the cupboard where we keep all of our machines. We have total stations, we have theodolites, we have levels, um, we have tape measures. Um, we actually have a, a ferro scanner in here as well that we use for our surveying. This is our lab, TC65, and you'll do your Materials 1 and your Materials 2 course in this. And those courses work with concrete and soil. And so you get to see the properties of concrete and the properties of soil. And you get to make some concrete and you, you learn how to, to size aggregate in the concrete and see the different effects that it has on the strength of the concrete. This is the machine that separates aggregate. When we're creating concrete, we have different sizes of aggregate that we want inside of our mixture. And so what this machine does is we put a mixture of aggregate in the top, and this shakes it back and forth. And so the large pieces of aggregate stay on top, and the smaller ones come through and they filter down to the bottom. And so that gives us a range of different aggregates that we can use in our concrete mix when we actually test it. If you have any more questions, um, certainly get in touch with me through the Niagara College website, Frank Roberts. That would be for the construction. If you have any issues or questions about the civil engineering program, contact Denise Fanosh, and you can get her information on the, on the website as well.